Hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. So, test server today for a special showcase. The strongest Royal Guard you've ever seen. I can bet, at least, at least for now. Who knows in the future with whatever the game brings. But for now, I went into the Soul Merchant and I saw the 6 star um, blessing the, the Imperfect Soul for my Royal Guard. And I thought, I have to buy it and I have to do the showcase. I use up the Eternal Soul Essences since might as well. This is the test server, so I don't mind using up my stuff and moving gear around like crazy and just rebuilding all my champions. It's not it's not gonna be an issue or the silver. So I thought, okay, let's go. And I've rebuilt. Look at this beautiful Royal Guard. By the way, I've got some other six stars like a Seeker and and this one right here on the top, Lana Kiss. I'll do a showcase on those. So if you haven't subscribed and when you want to know when that video is up, consider doing so right now and subscribe, right? It's free and you definitely help the channel out. So Royal Guard, look at this. Six and a half thousand attack, 349% crit damage and 140 speed, all right? This is a champion we usually build without any worry about your attack but I, I thought i might as well do it and the difference in crit damage was very little but like with the savage set i could get 352 353 percent so i thought I might as well try and push the attack to that six and a half thousand it's very little difference you get because of this the whole multiplier benefit for all guard comes from the critical damage and the enemy's max health so the enemy the more health they have the more damage you'll be doing of course and that is how um, you build the enemy max HP champions. So Royal Guard, Cold Heart, Acrisia, Seer, all of those. That's how you build them. Even, even Armager, right? So 349. Let's, let's keep going, okay? Um, I have him with the 6-star Awakening and of course went with Crushing Rend. This is a very specific blessing where it gets all its power. Once you reach to the 6-star blessing where every hit will ignore a percentage of the target's defense ignore one percent defense for every 10 levels this is the maximum that you can get a benefit plus the crit damage plus the attack there and this is going to be huge for the royal guard i mean it could have worked kind of the same with the five star but again you get the most benefit from the six star looking at masteries i of course went with helm smasher to try and get as big of damage as i can for my royal guard that 50 percent chance to ignore extra 25% defense is insane. And then going for skills such as Stoked Fury and Ruthless Ambush and Heart of Glory. All of those will be giving me extra damage for this. Even the Lore of Steel, all right, which gives me a little bit more crit damage from my stats. And to get all those stats, if you ever wondered what kind of, what kind of stats do my gear need to have, right? 12% crit rate. So single on the, on the crit rate here, double on the crit damage. I could have rolled that attack, by the way. Um, double on crit damage, single on crit rate, triple on crit damage, single on crit rate, double crit rate, crit damage gloves, double crit rate, double crit damage, attack percent chest, and um, single crit rate, single crit damage, and attack percent boots. Looking at a triple rolled attack ring, a triple rolled attack amulet with crit damage on the primary, and an attack primary um, banner. And this is a this, this could have gone like a, a double roll there and attack. I could have maybe reached close to, to 7k, but I don't think it would have made so much of a difference if I had something better, right? So enough with that. Let's go and do some testing. I, I did it. I did it on my own. I like, I went through all of the dungeons and we will be doing the showcase on stage 20 when, where there is no cap on your damage. After that, the max damage champions get a capped out damage to 10% of the boss's health. So might as well go for 20 and get get some fun out of this um out of this showcase so here we get the boost from battle kazar boost from gertug defense down weekend from lilia lydia and a critical damage up by whirlim okay and all of these will be, give that benefit to real guards it's gonna go next and boom look at that 7.2 <laughs> 7.2 million damage. I think that's the highest I ever got. And I'll explain how you see so many different numbers. When you think it's going to be the same run, it can actually go in many different ways. First, it's all about the um um the debuffs that you have and manage to land. Okay, that is that is something obvious. Okay, look at that. 6.6. .6. But if you guys didn't know, your damage can range whenever you attack from 90% of your normal damage to 110%, meaning 
all things the same, that just that RNG, which is within the game, it's not a matter of your gear or your champions, that RNG will affect your damage. You can even do more damage than your gear can do, 110%, and that would be insane. But it's coded in there to be random all the time and never see the same number. You might see something close, but you'll you pretty much never see the same number, you know, five attacks in a row, okay? Because of that, that, that range where your damage goes up or down and boom, look at that, 6.4. If I keep on doing this, he's just one shooting the spider. It's crazy, but I, I wonder if I could get higher than 7.2. I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's the highest I ever got on him. And boom, okay. But L, let's see, 6.3. Yeah, you see the, the variation, like a million damage difference just because of that of that percent. Or uh, let's say your Helm Smasher doesn't proc. If I don't land defense down, you'll see less than half of that. Defense down, it's crazy. It's, a, it's the debuff you must have when you're doing dungeons. So look at that, 5.2. That is the worst that we've seen so far and wasn't even a one shot. So this wouldn't be a consistent run. I think in my eyes, especially because of his speed, he's, he's kind of a low speed with 140, especially for Spider. So um, we'll go next to the other dungeons on 20 and see if we can one shot them. But I I'm, I'm just want to see something bigger than that. I think, okay, at least I'll have that for, for the screenshot, I guess, which should be the easiest one. Just because in Dragon Slayer, I mean, we're going to be equal affinity on... On the ice column, oh, let's see what we're we gonna do to the waves. I wonder, I wonder how much damage we will do to the waves. An ice column should be okay, also, but Fire Knight is it's gonna be forced. Look at that! Look at that! Three hundred thousand and just one shot the wave, but it's because of all this setup. He gets so much benefit out of these five champions. So yeah, it's it's not something, it's not something you'll see every day. Okay, and now I need to do manual so I can start getting these the setup ready so what i mean by that is is not use my cooldowns as, as much as i can um maybe the only one i can use is like the a3 from royal guard um can probably use the battle kazar like like so and start killing them off like here what it would have helped if i had another damage healer to help me go through the waves so i might as well just do this and i'll get back to you for the boss. All right, so we're here at the boss. Let's see what kind of damage Royal Guard can do. I should have done the A2 there. I don't know why I didn't do it, but we should be able to get another turn before Royal Guard goes. Let's do the poisons. Let's do the poisons on Royal Guard. Um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the defense down weekend. And then once Royal Guard gets his turn again, we should be able to do as much as possible here. Some damage dealt there. Boom on the boss. Come on. The slow. Oh, I can actually get another another poison on Royal Guard. Okay, okay. So this will be like the ultimate number. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can we get? Boom. 2.2 there from Royal Guard. That is pretty solid. And that's. That that should have been a one shot. If I did the, if I did it properly, it would have been a one shot. This should so, be easy. We're doing twenty again because because it's so specific. All right. So let's see. Let's, um, let's do this team right here again, and it's gonna be the same kind of setup. Let's see if we can beat the wave one, and it's not gonna work on Fire Knight. Just the weak hits. The amount of weak hits. I'll probably run something to clear the waves for Fire Knight. Um, what do I have left from all their gear? Look at that, three hundred seventy thousand there. And with if I had kill streak on Royal Guard, we would have gotten another twelve percent damage added on top of that. So that would have been that would have been great. So here, these dogs can be the worst because of the reflect. So I have to be very careful not to kill my Royal Guard. These can actually be very very bad if they manage to get a turn. So I wonder if I can freeze them actually did freeze them so that's good and and the same thing we'll, we'll get back on the boss and see how much damage this royal guard can do all right so we reached the boss this time i'll try not to to mess this up so defense down we can okay critical damage up there it is and then we do the battle poisons 
Let's do Gurb Tux Poisons. Extra damage from there. And then let's see the Royal Guard in action with the A2 here. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. A, a, a nice 2 million there and then half a million on the ad. To just one shot that, that high school M. That was great. That was great. Look at this. This is just use, use like something very quick for the waves. And then we'll see Royal Guard. He should be able to one shot the uh the boss there we also have him in the leader slot by the way because he gives a, a dungeon attack aura so that's a little bit of extras for there defense down weekend and almost 515 000, a a nice 11 second i don't even have unlimited frames on so that could have been probably like 10 seconds or even nine seconds i think these champions run quite quickly so so yeah look at that boom 481 yeah talk about that that variation of 90% to 110%. Now looking at the Fire Knight, what I want to see is, I want to see if we can one shot, even though it's Force Affinity, right? So this will be insanely rough for um, for Royal Guard. So you'll, you'll see here his A2. This shouldn't be able to, to one shot anything. Wonder if, if we can do with the A3 here anything. Ah, we did some kind of damage. And the refresh actually proc there. So do the A. Uh, should I save this? No, I might as well use it. And then once we go to the boss, it, it should see some solid damage. All right. So now I just want to get my cooldown back up. So one more turn for Lydia. Yeah, she's going to have it. Because remember the boss, um, I have Phantom Touch on my cold heart. So that's going to help. That should give me the extra four attacks and get the bosses um, countered down much quicker. So you'll see now, boom, this shows eight, but in reality that should be, she does four. So this should, should um, shows eight. So that's probably six. And then if we do this, that should be two. No, three, okay. Three with her. So we do this, come on, can we get an extra hit? No, okay, I'll do the, a3 here should give a decrease speed. That's nice. Okay, that should allow me to set it up properly and then have Royal Guard get his turn before the boss actually gets a turn. I'll have to do an A1 here. Okay, so I had to do the attack. I'll do an A1 here also. And I wonder if Royal Guard will get a weak hit. That's going to be disappointing if we get the weak hit. Weak hit means you don't crit, so this will be like zero damage, okay? Now, not literally zero, but see, now this will be normal. Look at that, 966,000. I expected a lot more, honestly. Let's see the cold heart, 770,000. I expected a lot more there. So before we end the showcase, of course, since I have my Aurora Guard here in Six Star Awakening, I want to play around with the possible awakenings, the other ones at least, that could be featured on a Six Star Blessed Out Epic, all right? So we have Cruelty. This would be for more consistent damage in a fight. So 20% um, extra defense down for everybody in the team. This would be the one I would probably pick to benefit my other champions as well. I don't think it would benefit Royal Guard so much for, let's say, the Hydra, okay? So this one, um, I can try it out, but it, it's, uh, it's obvious there that I would just get the extra 20%. What I really want to try out is Phantom Touch, which will be the next one I'm changing Crushing Ren to. But before um, we end the showcase, I want to show the Clan Boss no, the the hydra boss as well so that that should be something that um, makes it easier for us to showcase so for the normal hydra look at this okay let's see how this will go hopefully as good as i expect so defense down weekend on all the heads okay critical damage up let's do poisons on whatever targets we can because we you cannot land poisons on all of them and then we'll do gurp tuck and we'll do a boost again just in order to get our turn in. And I wonder if we'll actually manage to bring down a head just with Royal Guard. I can do that with, with other champions like Acrisia, but I've never tried with Royal Guard. Nope. Because <laughs> we get, yeah, we get we get the 10% on the head. So that's why, oh my God, the disappointment there. Oh, I totally forgot about it. I was so excited. I was so excited to do the showcase. <laughs> do a final showcase on nightmare and then i'll change to phantom touch where i think i think i think royal guard could do something good in here 
I mean, even though it's the campaign, I think he could do like a lot of damage with his A3. But because of his speed, he's going to be very slow and won't be able to get that two turns that you need to actually do anything. So I wonder, wonder on the A2 first, all right? Yeah, okay, we managed to barely get them down. Then do I even get a turn? No. Okay, let's see. Let's see the A3 here. How much damage this would do? 18,037. All that attack. All that attack going to waste. Okay, so uh, let's go. Let's go changing back to Phantom Touch. All right, so boom. Removing Crushing Rend and then going for... Where's Phantom Touch? Right here. This does give me the same amount of attack and crit damage, but this will give me um, actually 100% chance to do damage based on my attack and also 35% chance for an extra attack. So I wonder how that will go. So let's have a look with Phantom Touch on how much of a difference this is. Just because, let's say, Rodeguard was a rare hero. I could only put Phantom Touch on him. Let's see on the difference that it would have done, okay? You'll see the extra damage there as two red lines of damage if it's the double proc as well. So we have all the buffs as before, all the debuffs as before. And I wonder on what kind of difference can we still one shot? A 4.2, then a 29 at 36,000. Such an obvious difference when you don't have the Phantom Touch. Such an obvious, um, when you have the Phantom Touch, you don't have the, the Crashing Ren. Wow, that is that is disappointing, but we're still having fun. We're still having fun with Royal Guard. I just want to try this again. I think that we're going to call it after this because this video has been a long one. Let's see, crit damage up. There's the poisons. Come on. 4.1. Oh my God. It's almost half what we did before. That crushing ren is a must is a must if you have a six star awakening you can't go phantom touch nope that's for the cold hearts and the allures for the fire knight okay this was the showcase guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed it i i did definitely enjoy the damage potential coming out of this royal guard thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya